Today, I'm playing one of my favorite games of all time. It'll make you laugh and then go crazy all at the same time. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. I played this game last week, and it was awesome. Let's jump back in. Okay, so if you didn't see this game last week, basically, this is a game where I fight with the narrator. So last week, I did everything the narrator said, but the opposite. Today, I'm actually going to listen to the narrator and see what crazy adventure stand Stanley gets into. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, so we're actually gonna go to the meeting room this time, and we're actually gonna go in the correct door. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, so this is where last week I went to the door on the right and the narrator got angry and started breaking the game and everything got crazy. If you missed that, go back and check it out. It's hilarious. Now we're actually going to listen to everything the narrator says, no matter how bad it sounds. Why is he not talking? Narrator, please talk. Like I said, he normally never shuts up. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I don't- I don't know where his boss's office- I'm not Stanley, I'm just controlling Stanley! Okay, what does this say? How does- Well, I was trying to read that. Use slides to assure employees that everything is okay! Alright, I think it said how to- I don't know, resolve a dispute? I have- the, the broom closet- Oh, I was really hoping the- Whoa, the broom closet is open! I was, Stanley stepped oh. into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. Okay. So he turned around <laughs> I thought he was and got back on track. Okay. I'm sorry, narrator. I forgot that I'm doing exactly everything you told me to do. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, well, now I really want to see what's downstairs. Okay, if you guys want to see a full series on this game, I could come back and do everything. So I could see kind of what's down there. I could explore the broom closet more and a bunch of other crazy things. Because I think you guys told me there's like dozens of different endings in this game, which sounds kind of fun. Is this the right way to go? No, that door's locked. What? What kind of office building is this? I don't know what my boss's name is, but uh, the boss, I'm here. What am I supposed to do now? Is there like a receptionist at the desk? No, it's just, it's just empty. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Okay, what this he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. 2845. Of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Well, they didn't tell me not to open it. What is it, 2845? I really like how my boss just cut his face off in, in the only picture of him, so now I have no idea what he looks like. Also, this picture on the right kind of- Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Okay. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Okay, I get it, narrator. He wants me to put in 2845. Let's just do it. 2845. Four, five. I guess I got lucky. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code. Exactly. Yep. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Whoa. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you for the help, narrator. See, when you actually listen to him, the narrator kind of helps you out, and he doesn't try to kill you and destroy the game. Where are we? Oh. Um, narrator, can I please have some instructions? I'm kind of scared and I'm ready to pee my pants right now. Oh, also, I don't know if I said this already, but if you guys want to see more Stanley Parable, hit that like button and subscribe right now. I guess we're going to go in here and hit the down button. How old is this building? I've never seen an elevator look this old. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. What? It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. As though he felt more free to think for himself. No, it's called being scared. This question would not go unanswered for long. Uh, okay, I, I look forward to getting the answer. Whoa. Why did... Okay, that just kind of scared me. This is not a horror game, but right now I'm kind of feeling like it is. Okay, 
Let's keep going through. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, that's not ominous at all. There's a... <laughs> I like how there's a sign that just says Escape. I promised I'm going to listen to everything the narrator says today, but I kind of want to know what's down the escape door. Okay, I'm just going to have to come back next time and go down that way. Okay. Mind Control Facility. This doesn't sound illegal at all. Oh, there's just a giant button. Uh, uh, okay, does somebody work here? Talk about an office, my gosh. All right, I guess we're gonna press the button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Whoa. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I have no idea, but I'm kind of scared now. So are they like monitoring us? I mean, honestly, I don't even feel that bad about it. There's so many computer screens, there's no way they would actually, like, find me. Like, like, what if I'm, like, the third uh, computer to the left all the way on the bottom? There's no way they would see that. There's too many computer screens. Does Stanley know what he does for a living? Does he know what the company does? Probably not, knowing him. Narrator! Narrator, start narrating! All right, fine, I'm just gonna press this button. Now the monitors jumped to life. Fire. Their true nature revealed. Whoa. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Yikes. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. I, I, I don't like that. I'm, I'm not a fan. Wait, did I come from... Did I come from this way or did I come from that way? Uh, there's a mug that says, I hate Mondays. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like a normal office thing. All right, maybe, maybe we're not all eternally doomed. Can I press the button again? No. Okay, I guess it wants me to go down this way. So like I said, this is a, uh, originally this was an old game and this is the brand new update to the game. They added new endings, new commentary from the narrator and a bunch of other new cutscenes. I don't really know what's what's about to happen, but I'm going to press this button because it's the only button. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Of course Had not. Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Of course was not. Was there any reason he was happy with that? his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about, buddy, but can I open this box? Maybe it's got a nice pair of shoes. Nope, I'm not that lucky. All right, let's go in this creepy no. elevator. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Of course Never. not. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Well, I'm blind because there's no lights on right now. Wait, where are we going? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. What? Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. What does that mean? For he would dismantle the controls. That's a bad idea. And for all. That's a bad idea, Stanley. Okay, um, so basically I've put it all together. Stanley doesn't really have a job. His job is to be monitored by whoever these freaks are in this office. So he thinks that he's actually pressing buttons at his desk and doing a job, but all they're doing is giving him random numbers to input into a computer and then watching him and, and I, I guess using his... His mind? I, I don't really know what the purpose is for all of this, but there's got to be like a button that I can press maybe? Oh, wait a second. Do I want to press this button? Oh. Oh. Did that do anything? It said number five. I don't... I don't know what number five is. I see another one all the way up there. Okay, well, let's go in through here. Mind controls idle awaiting input. Like, where are all these people that are monitoring Stanley and all the other employees? Did everybody die or is it just like an artificial intelligence? You know what it is? I figured it all out. This takes place 150 years in the future. Computers have taken over the world and, and this whole facility is just run by a, a, a robot. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place. 
and to everything it stood for. Okay, I guess that means I'm supposed to press on. You know, I'm really disagreeing with a lot of the things the narrator is having me do, but I promised today would be the day I would do everything according to the narrator. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? You told How me to! Get you enslaved all these years. You go and you try to take control of the machine. You told me to is do that it! What you wanted? Control? Loading control oh, systems? Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. Thank but you. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. What? Turn the controls off. I... And leave. I didn't know! If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. Well, I'm not- I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Great! In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, Can I turn it off? The detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Oh, uh, now I'm gonna blow oh, up in two minutes. It's a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? No. It's your time to shine. You are the star. Oh, it's great. your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What, what a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Uh, Mere moments until the bomb goes off. What? But what precious moments each one of them is. Uh, More time to talk about you. Can you stop talking? I'm trying to find the where button. Where are we going? What all this means? I barely know where to start. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. I don't think I'm doing anything I'm sure right now. Whatever I come up with on the next go around this will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Great. But I'm enjoying this so much. I think he's still angry because I did everything the opposite last week. I think that's what's going on here. Me. I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we... Oh, boy. Three, two, one. Did I die? Oh, I definitely blew up. Okay, I'm going back down into the same room. I want to see what happens if I turn the system off. Is that just like a good ending or is the narrator still going to be mad and try to blow me up? Okay, so I made it back. I think last time I turned it on, right? Actually, now I don't even remember. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go off. Okay, this is definitely different. Now I'm scared. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Oh, it's my favorite. Was it over? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Stanley stepped through the open door. This is 100% fake. This is not real, man. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. I do not buy it. Hit that subscribe button and check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs. And I will see all of you in the next video.